All right, so last time I was here, there was a 0% chance that I was gonna walk away with any of these 977 cats. Um, got home, edited, posted the video, and all of a sudden the comments started pouring in. Basically, I felt like I had this duty. Um, you guys would have been really disappointed if we hadn't at least tried to save one of them. So I'm back at the site today, um, and we're actually gonna buy both of the non-running uh, 977L cap track loaders. I have no idea uh, what we're gonna do with them. I have no idea if they're gonna run or something like that. Um, but I do know that's kind of hard to work on them at someone else's place. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta get them loaded up. Um, we gotta get them to safety. So we got two trucks that are coming, probably in a couple minutes. Should be a wild ride, guys. We'll see, you guys aren't gonna steer me wrong, right? Let's get into it. It's tricky, it's tough dragging dead machines onto trailers. I don't care what anyone says. You watch it on YouTube, they make it look easy. Um, so we're on the road, at maybe 80 miles or so, um, and then we need to unload them. So we haven't talked about this yet, but you guys kind of know what we're working with here. The Michigan's still being rebuilt. Um, we've got a Case 450 and I guess the Wabco, and then the Kubota. Um, so this is gonna be shady. Let's see how it goes. <laughs>
No, you might be able to pick it up. Keep coming in. Yeah, start coming in now. Yeah, you're good. Do you go up or no? What? No, you're good. Go. You still got 10 feet. You got 10 feet, but that's probably good. That's good. Yeah, it's not even dragging, so you're good. Check this thing out. New valve cover gasket. Although, looks like it's still leaking. That's a bummer. Um, torque converter is rebuilt, so no more leaks there. I don't think it looks pretty darn good. Um, remember that seal in the front was leaking, and then I see we got a little leak there. And I think we still got a little leak up here, but this fitting what? was loose up here, um, so it's pretty good. Yeah, it does have a little leak, doesn't it? So I think the valve cover is still leaking too. Oh, is it? Yeah. So I think the only thing we have left on this before we put it back together, I mean, it runs good, uh, is the fuel injectors. Uh, we think it needs injectors. So these, the style, it's like a pencil injector or whatever. The style injector on these things are very uh, cheap. It's like 200 bucks for a set or something. So we'll probably do that in a future video. Um, but it's a pretty dramatic transformation. I think it's probably a year ago we went up there. The first time, you know, and took a look at it, so not bad. All right, so they're here, they're safe now. Um, you know, I actually, we were out there on a Friday and I think I edited and posted the video on like a Wednesday or a Tuesday. And I called Greg that Thursday, the guy that had these to scrap them. And I said, hold, hold, hold on, Greg, you didn't sell them yet, did you? Um, we want to buy them, because when we had left, we said, there's no way. And he said, you're lucky you called, because I was going to start cutting them out tomorrow. Um, so here they are. They're safe. Um, so price-wise, I think all in, we're about 13 grand um, to buy them, move them here. Um, we haven't touched them yet. We haven't done any work to them. Uh, so kind of like reset the playing field. Yeah, you save old machines like this. Yeah, you do. But now I'm sitting here with 100,000 pounds of iron behind me, um, you know, like 100 miles away from home, and it's like, what the hell do you do now? This is kind of a considerable investment, especially for someone like me. Um, again, I don't do this for a living. I don't have a construction business. I don't buy and sell equipment for a living. It's kind of a hobby to, you know, entertain you guys out there. I enjoy making the videos. I enjoy working on stuff. Um, so we'll see. Um, so just kind of a recap for those of you that haven't really watched the first video or followed along. So this machine right here actually rolls over. It's pretty solid. We've gotten this thing started, um, but it's got a terrible knock. My dad and I looked at each other as soon as it fired up, said it's a rod knock, something's bad in it. Um, a lot of guys in the comments said it's a fuel knock. Fuel knock, fuel knock, fuel knock, fuel knock, fuel knock, fuel knock. So first thing we're gonna do on this is we're gonna change that fuel transfer pump. Um, and we're actually gonna see if we can get rid of that knock. This one over here is gonna have to wait for another day. That'll be a complete separate video in itself. Um, the engine is locked up on this one. And so the first thing I'm gonna do, I think it's locked up. So you look at the rain cap and now it's sitting perfectly. I think it's locked up because the rain cap was kind of just off to the top on it. Um, not a big deal, but if it got water down there and it locked up, that is a big deal. 
Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is pop the glow plugs on that one and try and put some acetone and ATF down that. And we will see if we can get that one freed up. The undercarriage on this one's a lot better, but this one has more hours. Um, so the goals here, just to remind everyone are, we gotta get our money back somehow, right? You can't just spend $12,000. I've got a kid on the way in like a month. Um, so my wife is kind of like, this is ridiculous if this is a hobby, right? So we gotta get our money back either in parts, scrap. Ideally, we can get both machines running, sell one and keep the other, right? Buckle up is probably gonna be quite the long drawn out series, um, but it's gonna be probably like nothing we've ever done before. And it could be pretty cool if we do end up getting one or both of the machines running. Um, so if you have any suggestions, make sure you leave them in the comments because we are gonna be looking for help on these. Um, if you wanna support us, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. supposed to be working. Huh? I think I hit record before I was done talking there. So I just want to say thanks for watching guys. Um, so this is what I'm kind of going to do with these cats. So I've already got quite a bit of the stuff uh, filmed, you know, definitely more than just this one video. So I'm going to try and edit them and post them. Um, so look, you know, maybe like less than a week, like maybe three, four days from now, and we'll do another video next time. We're going to check out the fuel leak on that. And then kind of in that video, uh, he wants to work now. In that video, I'll tell you guys kind of what's going to go on next, um, and we will see. So we've got a lot of work to do. Um, should be a lot of entertaining content like nothing we've ever done before. And don't forget, uh, this ship's going down. It's going on together because you guys were the ones that talked us into buying these things. Uh, so thanks for watching. Like I said, keep your eyes peeled, and next time we'll see if we can fix that better fuel. And once and for all, is it a fuel knock, or is it something way worse? Come on, show the viewers what you're doing to your sister, huh? Get him! Get her, Cooper! <laughs>